Yes, lads, welcome back to the channel for yet another video. And now this is a League 2 related video. Like I said, this channel is Newport County orientated, but we do uh, cover a lot of the latest League 2 news and breaking League 2, League 2 news, whether that be transfers, big sackings, manager appointments, or, you know, big things happening in Skybet League 2, as well as, obviously, the bread and butter of Newport County content. If you do go on to enjoy this video yet again, please make sure to absolutely smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And this one is an announcement video and it comes out of Colchester United. Breaking news. Uh, Colchester have finally appointed a manager after the sacking of Wayne Brown. Like I said, with these uh, videos, I will read the article from Colchester United um, and then give my thoughts on it. And then also look at, you know, what Colchester fans think. Because they're the most important fans in this. What their own fans feel about this appointment. Uh, so let's just get straight into the article. Uh, Colchester United are delighted to announce that Matt Bloomfield has been appointed the first team head coach. Uh, Bloomfield joins from Wickham Wanderers where he was first team choice uh, coach assisting Gareth Safe, uh, Gareth, Safe Gareth Ainsworth, sorry. For the League One cheer boys. As long and distinguished playing career saw the midfielder make over 550 appearances for Wickham over 18 years uh, after having his career started at Ipswich Town. So 550 uh, appearances in football and you know all of that was spent in League One, League Two with Wickham Wanderers which gives Colchester a massive, massive um, you know, experience head as their manager. Uh, he captained the side to League One promotion and then made 16 appearances in Wickham's first ever season in the second tier before taking up a coaching role with the club. So 16 games in the championship a couple of seasons ago for, um, or last season, wasn't it, for um, uh, Wickham Wanderers is, or the season before, was it shows the quality that he has as a player and obviously he's gone into a coaching role. Off the pitch during his playing days, Matt gained uh, an honours degree in professional sports writing and broadcasting and in the last years also di also di gained a diploma in football management as well as being a UEFA A licensed coach. Uh, he successfully came through the interview process in the past few days and Dimitri Haliako, the U's sport director and the man leading the hunt for the new man, told the official website that Bloomfield was the standout candidate to lead the club forward. Already, you can see that they've gone through uh, a few managers, and Matt Bloomfield, with his experience, with his um, you know qualifications, just shows that compared to everyone else, he was just far uh, far and away uh, the better uh, manager, and also the better fit for Colchester United. Uh, we had a long and detailed recruitment process, and we had an outstanding candidate in Matt. Uh, his values, football knowledge, and expertise of how to win really impressed us during the process and aligned with our vision. So, as you can see, you know, the vision, the structure, everything that Colchester United want to be, Matt Bloomfield, you know, coincides that side by side. Um, so it just makes perfect sense that he is the man to take them forward. Uh, I welcome Matt to the club and can't wait to start working with him. Matt will be involved in helping the team on Saturday to go and get three points. Uh, away at AFC Wimbledon. Watch his first interview at 4pm on Cole U TV. Um, so, yeah, I think... Um, I, I think, personally, that's a decent appointment. You know, he's a up-and-coming manager. I will be reading a few uh, Colchester United fans' thoughts, but, you know, he's an up-and-coming manager that is trying to take the first step into football management. However, we have seen that that can become... Um, Something that really derails, you know, a team and derails, um, you know, a, a, a vision going forward. Having that, we've seen it with James Rowbury, um, you know, it could happen for Colchester. Let's read a few um, of the Colchester thoughts. So, Robbie Cowlin has just lost all respect among the CUFC community. Um, also, we've got what a disgrace. Uh, no way. Banter right. Sort it out. Who the F is he? Um... OK, and who's the real manager then? Steve Ball said, I'm meant to be excited. Can't wait to announce our tell. Um, absolute S show, as always. The circus continues. Uh, and then the last one. Joke of a club. Cowlin has to be the biggest idiot. 
uh, is what I'll replace it with in football right now. So Colchester United fans are absolutely furious. Um, they're absolutely furious. They're outraged with the appointment of um, Matt Bloomfield. Like I said, I personally thought it might be a decent appointment for them. Um, but obviously they know their club more than what I do, more than what you do. Um, if you are a neutral, please, Colchester United fans, let me know in the comment section down below. Do you agree with your fellow fans saying that um, is an absolute disgrace? If you have enjoyed this video, like, share and subscribe. The League 2 content is back. There will be a live watching tonight as well for Mansfield Town against Hartley Cole United. So please stay tuned for that. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and welcome to Colchester United, Matt Bloomfield. Thanks for watching.